Hello. All right, this looks like a huge team value difference. Uh, so we are fighting against undead. A couple guards, mighty blue on the white. They've actually leveled up pretty decently though. Bunch of blodge, which would be a pain. <clears throat> Another guard zombie, that's nice. And a solid record for a level 11. So this could be somebody coming in from a, you know, like real life. Uh, Blood Bowl, or uh, playing on a different system. Yeah, 450k. I mean, they should be able to get a pretty solid <clears throat> character, and a wizard, and <laughs> some other stuff as well. But, you know, uh, that that's all reasonable, because uh, we do have a huge difference in teams. Okay, so they went for a small one first. They might go for a, for a couple. There's a great mummy one, and I think there's a pretty solid vampire one, honestly. Um, with the 10 seconds it gives me, I'll have a quick look. Once they've made their choices. They may, they may change their mind on this. Because obviously they could get like... An extra... I don't even know what you'd get. I think you want the star players. <clears throat> I think there's a ghoul one called Earlice or something. Okay, bribe. They've got 200k in the bank as well, so their team value is actually slightly inflated. And then a babe and probably another... Oh, they could have gone for another babe there. Oops. Uh... Yeah, so they have access to Count Luther. He's, he's a beast. I mean, he's probably overpriced, but agility for a uh, high high strength agility player is always pretty handy. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> it's raining. That is okay for us. We hope it continues to rain. They took hack, right? Yeah, they did. That's unfortunate. Uh, just in the sense of the chainsaw noises. Uh, we'll go on offense. Check I'm recording. Yes, I am. Okay. So, yeah. We played against him. Was that last game? I think so. <clears throat> I must admit, I would probably leave... I would probably have three ghouls on the pitch. I think the... Yeah, I think the last guy, especially with the especially seeing as they have bludge, um, they're just so useful at like being able to get back and get in the way. Uh, I know, I know that armor is uh, less useful than a zombie, um, but the what you can do with them is is much more use, much much better. This is a nice setup across the front here with all the guard, but that said. We have some guard of our own. We just got Thrush some guard as well. Who have we left off? Let's bring you in for Raccoon. So that's uh, Rat and Raccoon on the bench as per usual. So yeah, we ignore the rain, which is super cool. I mean, we ignore the rain for picking up because of our big hand. So I can put him here. And... Hey, will that be enough? Hang on, I've got... I'll have two guards against. I'm trying to work this out here. And two guards for, so that will not be enough. So he needs to be here, so that I just have one guard against. Um, I think I should be able to knock these guys down, but it's a bit fiddly. <coughs> I'm actually going to leave our Avogadro out, or m like have him be a bit more maneuverable. Uh, 
And I don't know who I'm going to blitz yet. Maybe the white. Probably the mighty blow white. Okay. Yeah. I know I can at least hit one of these mummies though. And once you've cleared one, it makes it easier to clear the other. Extra rerolls all around. Okay. This is an interesting <laughs> turn of events. Um, I am not entirely against this. Okay, so I do need the second guy in here, but that's fine. We're gonna pop that there. Okay, so we've got him defended. Now we can make this hit. Not as effective as we'd like. We will stay for now. Okay, not as effective as we'd like. We will stay for now. Okay. I mean, you know what I'm going to say. Not as effective as we'd like. So that's six pushes so far. There we go. Alrighty. Let's get the splits done. Alright, hair coming in with some good work straight from the off. That's always nice to see. Drop him back. Protect him. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna try and score with Stag, because this is amazing. Um, but it's not gonna be easy. So I'm not ruling out handing this off, if he's willing. Uh, and I'm definitely not... Oh, he's probably gonna wizard us at some point, that'd be sad. I, sh I need to bear that in mind, actually. I mean, it doesn't matter if he does it now, because he's moved. But, um, yeah, we'll try and see what we can do. The fact that they've moved this mummy over here is kind of nice, because it's kind of saying, hey, go left. And if he doesn't bring people into the middle, we will oblige. Yeah, he's pushed all his ghouls right. Now, of course, the easiest way to move the Minotaur is uh, to blitz. So, entertainingly, we may be blitzing him up the field. Uh, I don't know if we'll do it straight away, although if he doesn't do anything... I don't know. We'll see what he does with what he's got left of his team. Because we could blitz into this mummy. Uh, it's not quite the direction I'd like to go. Could blitz into this white as well. Okay. He's kind of stopped there. It's a risky maneuver. But I do kind of like it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can go... Can't go there. You can go here. I think we're going to try it. Let's have some fun. Um, I'm going to pop this guy here, even though it's a bit of a risk, because I'm going to try and bring some guard in as well. That's a dodge. Okay, I can't bring the guard in yet. Can you go here? Yeah, you can. Okay. I think I'm actually going to try and one dice this. Okay, I need to see if he's going to move now. Uh, you can't go there. You could, in theory, go here. So the risk to the... I mean, there's two risks to this. Oh, that's... I'm going to use... I'm going to try and use my extra reroll. Okay, so... 
stag instantly drop the ball there. Um, but that's why we pulled as much of our team up as we did. <laughs> this is why you generally don't ball carry with a Minotaur, but it seemed too fun to to not try. So we'll see what he can do here. Um, now that we failed that, this is much worse as well, because all he needs to do is bring somebody in here. And um, then it's obviously push up here, knock him off. But that would mean concentrating pretty heavily on this guy when this guy is kind of a big problem as well. <clears throat> we do still have our really good ball picker upper as well, so if he doesn't go in for the ball pickup. Okay, he's doing that. That we kind of like, maybe, because he's much less likely to go off the field now. Although still possible, nah, very unlikely. So this guy's got bad dice all around right now, but he could move somebody in to help with that. So now he can get a one dice. He, oh no, it's still two dice against. Having strength five on this guy, it, this is why the strength five on a warrior is so good. Like, look how much he's put over here to try and make this happen and he still doesn't have a good setup here to take this guy down. I forgot that this was blocking this assist. Once, this, once he gets guard as well, oh, beautiful. So yeah, he could just move in here, and this guy gets the two dice on either of these guys. So Rabbit's back in action. Vol's out of action for this turn, but Rabbit's back. Okay, okay. That was effective. What's the plan there? It does give you a two dice on the beast. So Thrush is getting punched pretty hard. Oh, your plan is to bring this guy down here. Fair enough. And then one dice me onto the ball. Or away from the ball, even. I think I'd have gone onto the ball. But, yeah, I think I would. Okay, so let's try and recover a bit here, because that didn't go super well. Just going to stand up this uh, ghoul here. No. Let's stand up this one, seeing as we're trying to defend our back line. Should be able to drop the mummy here. Down he goes, and hopefully push back here. Yeah, I mean, when I said push back, I meant knock over. Um, I wouldn't mind this guy being out of here, so I think I try and chain push him away. Yeah. Stags decided that this this has all been too much. Down he goes. I could pop up here, but it doesn't really help my situation a whole lot. So I think I'm gonna stay where I am now. That's two GFIs to get up in there. So let's try and pick up this ball first. Yeah, the guard in here would be excellent if I can get it. I think I'm going to reroll this. I always say that. I shouldn't really. 
because it kind of suggests failure. <laughs> uh, we're going to stay where we are because it's much harder to get surfed here. And okay, so we've recovered the ball after what can only be described as a very silly opening to the game. Uh, we need to try and start moving as and when we can because the wizard is something to bear in mind. Uh, but this is not a great situation for them blocking wise. They've got one guard here, one guard here. This guy is not really helping. Because he's being kept in place by Moose. Who we always knew was going to be a star. Already leveled up to block status. What's the plan here? Just keep him as pegged in, I guess. This is a downside to mummies. Very slow. But boy, when they get locked in, they are a pain. So I don't know if they can... I don't think they can do any serious clearance here. They could foul this guy, or they could maybe come around and chainsaw somebody. Because you don't need assist for a chainsaw, you just do it. Probably just want to leave this guy here, maybe bring this guy over. Oh, I didn't even... I didn't... I forget how fast ghouls are. Yeah, this is worth a try. Oh, okay, he's going for the foul first. Did he get a bribe? I think he did. So, that's worth a shot. So, yeah, my, uh... Forgetting to... Pay attention to, uh, the ghouls over here. <clears throat> Has caused issues. You gonna stay on me? You are? Okay. So we at least get a block here. So I want to push up this way, but I can't, unfortunately. So I think we are gonna have to come back around, which is a big pain. But this uh, ball being here is actually really helpful, because that gives me... Uh, oh, there's a guard there. So I think we try this, and let's get him up first. Very nice. I will stay on that. Never one to, <laughs> to try and forcefully remove somebody. Okay, that gives us a two dice here, which is effective. Which means we can get through to here. Which isn't entirely safe, I'll admit, but uh, it is something. Try and move in here. So we're just going to push through on this just to get in contact with them. There we go. You celebrate. Okay, very nice. So this gets gets us more in contact with the ghouls. And if I pop this guy here, I wanted to bring him around to help protect, but this will uh, make both of their lives a bit more tricky. Oh, that that knockdown is actually great there. Uh, it doesn't stop him dodging away and hitting us, but... Um, I mean, it's, it's nice. <laughs> Gives him less to do afterwards. Right, looks like he's going to maybe chain push in here. Oh, this is our strength. This is uh, there, so he can go this way. No problem. Which actually makes more sense anyway, because you want to get this guy over near the ball. Was that the guard zombie we took out? It was. Very nice. So 
So yeah, that's a 50% dodge without a reroll, as I always like to remind us. And this is why we've got tail here. And we've got it in the perfect place. And you can't really even, like, push him away with one of them, because guard. So that's a two dice against. He should be on two dice against on everybody as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. So he's going with a 50-50. Reroll used. Unsuccessful. As we hoped it would be. Alright, that is that is good and solid. That's exactly what we were looking for. And he never got this guy up because I guess he was going to wait and do the... Uh, Uh, let's see, where do we want to go? Where can you go? You can get to here. So you should. You can get to here. So we're spreading them slightly to make the fireball less potentially useful. Okay, you need to fall over. Can we make you fall over? Maybe. Yes. Uh, we will stay. Uh, we'll follow here. That's not what we wanted. So we might push it this way. Uh, we will follow. We'll try this. I mean, if we hit him, he's in trouble. We did hit him. Okay, not as much trouble as I'd like, but not too bad. Uh, let's hit this guy while we're here. Just keep him connected there. Uh, I'm actually going to follow on that one. Alright, pretty happy with that. So now he could wizard us, but I don't know if it benefits him a whole lot. Not this turn anyway, he would need to get somebody closer to capitalize. Obviously picking up the ball isn't necessarily easy for us. Um, unless he brings somebody over, we do have this guy to help deal with ghouls. Hopefully he knows not to use a wizard at the end of the turn. Oh, that worked. Rerolls getting used pretty heavily here. Okay. Off he goes. I'll be honest, I didn't expect this much pressure. <laughs> Alright, so... I think we do try and deal with the ghoul here.
Uh, just thinking about stuff as we do it. We should contact this guy. Not quite what we'd hoped for. So there could be some danger coming up at the end of this turn. I can kind of feel it brewing. Um, let us stay here. But I think bringing in the warriors could help. Just as backup for in case he fireballs this little cluster or lightning bolts. And let's see. Okay. Is it coming? Yep. Okay. That went pretty well for us. So now the question is how much can he get in here? The main thing that went well, I mean, you could say that also went pretty well for him because he got two knockdowns, but the, the bounce was very kind. Uh, we have enough people here that I think even if he did grab it, we're probably getting it back. But the other thing is he didn't armor break Badger, so Badger can potentially pick this back up. Being our safest by far, because otherwise we're looking at a 4+, plus with us having to reroll. With Badger, you're looking at a 3+, plus with his own reroll. So, we'll see, but... That, that is, that was, uh, not too bad. Okay, so he's coming in hard here. He's had a bit of unfortunateness with his uh, GFIs, but he has also been rolling those GFIs pretty aggressively. Of course, if he fails that, we're at our home turf here, so he would be taking a potential armor break. With a plus one. Be like Mighty Blow, effectively. Okay, is he going to scatter us onto the ball? No? Okay. I guess he's figures he's got two guys on the ball, uh, which is fair enough. I would like you to move here. Okay, he's not going to. It looks like he's going to hit the foul here on the Minotaur. He's got the bribe, so foul whenever you can, and this guy's going to be off soon. Okay, he rolled pretty badly there. And then, did he not use the bribe? I don't think he used the bribe. Yeah, he just saved it. Okay, so can we still... He has tied up this guy. Uh, I don't really want to hit you onto the ball. Trying to work out if I can make a good chain push here. I think I can. Oh, you're tied up though. Hmm, maybe I can't. Um, hang on. No, that doesn't work. What I want to do is bring this guy here and then blitz in this way, or bring somebody here. But I don't think I have anybody I can bring in. I guess we have to stand you up. I think the best I can do is get this guy off the ball. I mean, I could push them onto the ball, but who knows where it's going to go. I mean, it's more likely to end well for us, but we're still going to be in contact. So yeah, I think the... I think probably our best move is this. 
don't really need this guy here, but he helps protect this corner. Okay, that's good. Not essential, but still good. Uh, let's see. Just try and push them back as much as we can, but I need to keep in contact now. Can't do anything down here, we're just kind of staying in place. And I think we just hold here. Yeah, we don't want to free this guy up if we don't have to. May as well at least drop this guy. Alright. So what are they going to do here? They obviously have a two dice against currently. I don't think they're going to improve that without dodging through here. This guy is on a tackle. He he used all his rerolls, which is good. There's a lot of guard going on. So it's kind of a two dice or bust here, I think. Yeah, he has ghouls in the vicinity, but they've got to dodge a long way around. So he's opting for removal for now, and then I guess maybe he'll try the two dice against. I mean, if it works, we actually have a tough time scoring. I don't know what he was trying to achieve there. I think we should be able to get a three dice here. Yeah. I'm gonna pop this guy here so that we can chain push him away. I think this is a three dice as well. The less bludgy ghouls, the better, that's what I always say. Never mind, just a stun. I think we've done okay for armor breaks, but obviously pretty poorly for full on removals. And then I think we'll just go in because we don't want to risk anything else, I don't think. Nah. So I think he wizarded at the right time, but I think we respond. I think we were set up pretty reasonably, and we responded pretty well. And I think even, I mean, obviously it would have been a lot more scary had he have bubbled the ball further away from us. Um, oh, well, there goes all that work. <laughs> um, all right, let's trade in some of these guys. So, a good first half, but we are not out of the woods.
They've got a lot of ghouls. All right. I'm honestly thinking that two heads might be better on Badger than an extra arm because it gives him a two plus for dodging. Uh, and he's already picking up pretty well under almost any circumstance. So I, I wonder if the extra dodge ability would actually be more beneficial. But yeah, like I say, we're not out of the woods, and of course I forgot that Raccoon is still on. He snuck on. He is called Snuffle Thief, so it's to be expected. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, we can't entirely get away from them. But we can mostly get away from them. I think we probably need our guard in the center here. You know what? I could switch you two out, actually. Uh, and then we'll just keep these guys back. I mean, I can't, I can't outguide and outstrength these guys, so I think it's just avoidance as much as possible. The uh, the zombie getting okay, that's a reroll. That is not a reroll. Okay. Why? You... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I did the classic. I do that so often. Okay, well it gives us a chance to bring on the uh, rabbit. That's a pity in a way, because uh, I was feeling pretty good about that. Um, Alright. It's just my brain disengaging. I'm still a bit sad that Stag didn't get to score, that would have been fun. But this team is relatively dangerous. I, I would be interested to see how it went because I don't think their mummies were getting over there because I think they would kind of moved over here a little bit. So it would have been hard for them to get numbers around. They'd probably be looking at one or two dices against him and if I could have kept like maybe one or two guard nearby it would have been pretty tough to get it off him. Um, but the wizard, oh that is that is a real pity because the rain just benefits us so much. I guess if you want to look on the good side, uh, it did not hurt us. So that's nice. It could have done. It could have hurt us if that um, fireball had stunned us. But so yeah, not a lot of removals all around so far. And honestly, it's not too surprising. Um, we've had some issues in the past with getting removed heavily early, and we've we had it so much, especially early on with this team. But even even as we've gone on, they've been notoriously bad for just getting horribly removed. That you know, you begin to feel like that's normal, even though you know armor eight 
shouldn't just like jump off the field in vast numbers. So it's kind of nice to uh, not have that happen. So it looks like he's maybe going to grab the ball and come down behind this little pocket here, maybe even into the middle of it. I'm tempted right now to blitz this guy, but we'll see. It kind of depends on what they do. So Rabbit is come back on, taking a hit like a trooper. These guys may just stand up again, just so they can take some mummy rage. Keep them in place. I oh, would have picked it up anyway. Okay, so yeah, I think ultimately... Uh, this is where it'd be nice to have Frenzy. Hair, the, the softest of uh, of uh, guys. We're going to put our strength 5 on the outside because that's kind of like saying nope. We'll pop our guard in the middle. And we'll pop this guy here. Oh, this guy can't stand up. He got stunned. Do you want to take a hit? You do. Okay. Stag's back with a vengeance. Um, I th think I am going to leave Wolf over here in case they decide to reverse. Uh, and we need to leave our tackle over here, obviously. I think that should be okay. Yeah. We've got to leave a bit of numbers over here because ghouls have movement and he left one over here. So yeah, we can hit pretty much anywhere as needed. Um, he can probably, he can like, if he knocks down, okay, so it looks like he's going to knock this guy down, probably move the guard around and knock this guy down, but that should be probably where it stops. I mean, in terms of like knocking down the rest of our line. Oh, that said, guard, he may be able to get another one. Cause it'll be a two dice. Mm, it'll be a one die. Is he switching? I feel like he's going to switch, yeah. Down goes Stag for another nap. Sleeping peacefully. Well, he looks like he's dead there, but I'm sure he's pe sleeping peacefully. Okay, yeah, this looks like a... Uh, Switch. Is he going to one dice this? No. Okay, he's just blocking me off. So that's potentially nice. If he doesn't get anybody else over here, we could maybe blitz. Or maybe we... I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Okay, he is going for the he's going for the GFIs. Yeah, he's definitely making the most of his rerolls. In the sense that he's using them heavily. Ooh. Okay, he did go for that one dice and it worked. Where are you going to go? Here? Okay, that doesn't bother me to... Okay, here. Alright, so that gives me a nice tackle here. Made the four up. Okay, and that gives me... Okay. I mean, it does lock these guys in place. So, sure, I can see that. But we do have guard here. And you're just going to get up. And honestly, you're just going to get up. So we can do a disappointing push. So 
So we've got our guard in nice places to utilize for blocking here. That's not quite what we were looking for. Hmm. I think you're just making a backwards move. You are doing a big diagonal. And then we're going to use our blitz here. That's just fine. Oh. Rabbit. I mean hair. I get them confused. Your gentleness is overwhelming. Okay, so I expect him to make a pretty heavy move down this way now. But we do have our tackles back in some kind of position. And if nothing else, he might be able to do a dodge out for a blitz. If he's going to score, I kind of want him to score quick. Uh, his maneuverability is big here. But only with a few players, obviously. And this is why you, it's nice to have all the ghouls going. What's he got? Four ghouls on the pitch right now. It's pretty handy. It's like having three Dark Elf Blitzers with Blodge, effectively. And a uh, Witch Elf, movement-wise, which is pretty pretty good team. We'd like to get the tail on them to reduce them their agility some. Okay, Sideline Cage is interesting. But not unheard of. And he's going to try and put this guy next to here to stop me dodging out. And he can probably... Yeah, you can hit here to stand this guy up. But obviously we're going to try and dodge both of these guys out. If if that's possible. He may try and do like a... He may try and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to kind of get in my way. Okay, just a push on Vol. That leaves one dice here. Oh, taking some risky one dice. Does stand this guy up, but obviously I can push back with Wolf. You can do that, but it won't affect anything. You probably want to come around here. Yeah? So yeah, this is kind of what we expected. Doesn't entirely stop us, but it is a pain. Oh, I don't, I don't, I mean, it does stop, yeah, I would probably do that. So the question is, how much can we break in here? I didn't realize he had uh, the blitz still. Just a one dice, but not sculling out. And he does kind of get in the way of this guy. If he went another one, he'd be even more in the way. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be a sort of gradual... Whoa, okay, there's a mummy there I forgot about. So rabbit's getting up. Uh, where do you want to be? Here? Stag's getting up. Can we remove this guy? Maybe. Could get some guard in here. I think for the moment we just want to get it. We want to get it in the vicinity. This guy can come through there. Go 
Got to be careful not to get in my own way too much. Okay, so this is now a free move, which I like. Hmm. Now the choice has become more difficult. Because we want to blitz in here, but I also kind of want the, the warrior here as a just like a no, you're not going that way. If I did, if I did the blitz like this, that would actually kind of hit both things. It means we don't get the tackle and claw. But it does mean we have a strength 5 there. Yeah, I quite like that. Gotta say, these ghouls are pretty hardy. Okay, so this is not undoable, but this is fiddly. I might have to do some dodging with some stuff he doesn't want to dodge with to help out here. Uh, oh, you know what? He does have a two dice there. That's good, especially if he... Okay, he's going that way. Yeah, I forget that he doesn't also have guard. Oh, he's going that way. Surely you can't... Surely you don't have a great scoring... situation there. Because to come back around... Yeah, that's way too much space. And this is a two die against whatever you do. That's, that's why we made it a strength five guy. So does he try and reconsolidate? Or is he just going to go for the crazy? We've got dodge. 4 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus in. Stand firm would be pretty solid on this guy as well. Okay. What's what what is what's brewing here? One, two, three. Okay, are you gonna blitz this guy? Ooh, okay. Oh, he made it. Oh, and he can get all the way in. Okay. Oh, that was easy, wasn't it? On the plus side, um, that does give us time to retaliate, but not a lot of time. He's back. Did he buy... I think he did buy babes. I forgot about that. He bought one. So he's not waking up on the 3+, plus. so those guys coming back was not as surprising as it could have been. Uh, these guys can stay out. Did he change anything here? He didn't, so I think we stick with what we've got as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we did what we could there. He uh, he made some. He made a lot of GFIs. Let's put it like that. And I know he hasn't always had the best of luck with them, but he's tried a lot of them. So. Uh, yeah. At least you're one step closer. Assuming you fumble this, which you didn't. So I'm actually going to move up first, unusually, because we need to not forget about time here. Alright, that was more disappointing than the first half. Uh, 
as I remember, I need to move somebody in for this. Stag just wants to protect the ball. It's not not the worst idea. Oh, this is feeling very deja vuish, isn't it? This whole situation. Uh, yeah, you can do this. Okay, that's better. I'm actually gonna follow this time because we need to try and keep him back. Oh, that's unfortunate though. Because now we've got our two guard guys locked in there. Uh, let's see, so yeah, you can protect that. And you're going to have to protect here for the moment. Alright, so not the most thrilling first turn ever. we got four more to go, which is definitely scorable, but we need to puncture somewhere. And these guys are just getting hit back. At best, honestly. At worst, knocked off because they do have Mighty Blow. Seems very keen on protecting this side. I don't know if it's his attempts to try and get rid of hair, but obviously, as per last time, he can't get rid of hair this turn. Looks like he's coming through on one of these guys, going sideways, fair enough. Got the removal he so craved. And interestingly, followed up into our mighty blow. So, is he going to bring somebody else around? If he doesn't... Probably send somebody over there. I don't know. We'll think about it. Or maybe I'll just take a one dice chance at the end of the turn. Yeah, definitely is feeling like a push this way. I assume he's going to follow up with both of these guys. And this is the downside to uh, to not knocking them over is now this turn all we're doing is basically trying to hit them back again. That is not a great... Okay, that's better. Ooh, three skulls out of four. Okay, so we can hit there. I think we do want to push this way. Do we do it with the Minotaur? There's a fair argument to say yes, we should. Unfortunately, because we need to move the Minotaur to get him back in contact with everybody. It's always a bit nerve-wracking using the Minotaur. One, two, three, four. He's going to want to come that way. Maybe I just put this guy here. Yeah, I think I do. I guess that'll do. Ooh, bad turn. Bad, bad turn. I 
I mean, we did move the ball, but boy, are we uh, not liking Stag refusing to do anything this whole game has been a bit of an issue. I guess in retrospect, could have double dice blitzed here and moved over, but like we need, I wanted to push our strength up in this direction because we need to try and like make an exerted, uh, not an exerted, a. Uh, Oh, and that means we didn't even move this guy, so he has a... Oof. I uh, don't think... He can't get a two dice over here, if you want to look on the bright side, but he just has so much ability to get in on us, and we just don't have the agility to dodge through. We're down to one reroll. It's feeling awfully drawish, honestly. Unfortunately, we stored them long enough on their drive to make it difficult for us to score. This guy would roll a double, that would be pretty nice. Oh, that's two dice now. Yeah, Stag, I needed you there. This is why most Chaos players don't use my tools. <laughs> it's a bit of fun, but it can also cost you some games. So yeah, he's got to push out here. The nice thing is we have this guy tailed up. Yeah, our inability to keep the ghouls out of the game has been a, a bit of a problem because now he's got a full a full quota of blodgy guys at the back that is really hard to deal with. I don't know why he's taking his time here. It's a pretty easy decision, I think. Yeah, we down two? Yeah, we are. Stun here would be bad. Well, actually, an injury here would be really bad. Okay, went for in between. So that's not an easy pickup, but look how much numbers he had. He just has so much numbers over us. Yeah, this is this is pretty rough. Honestly, right now I want to pick it up with Bear. But he's got two guys on the ball, so I don't think he's going to be the one picking it up, if anybody. Should get a third on the ball as well. Is he not blitzed? Okay, he's blitzing. He's doing one dice blitz without block. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That happened. Why is he why is he playing so slow all of a sudden as well? It's like he's thinking this through really hard. Which I guess is fair enough, but Or he's having internet issues? I don't know. I think this guy picks it up. Yeah, look, the timer's having issues even. Okay. So.
so let's see. I think I've got to go a little crazy here. That's not as crazy as I'd like. That's more like it. No armor break there. Last reroll? No. Oh, this is not what I wanted. I wanted it to scatter close by. How did I know it was going to scatter back towards him? Oh, I should have, should have tried to reroll. Somehow it always scatters over the wrong way. Boy, I, I felt really comfortable with this game in the first half, but... I didn't... I don't know what really happened here. I think the fact that the team has just been ever-present, regardless of what we've done. And yeah, his time is definitely being, he's definitely having some issues. Funnily enough, we're not in a position to take advantage of it, even if, uh, even if we want to. So, I don't know. This could this could go the other way here. Like he could, uh, he could, he could very well win this. Let's say he brings this guy one, two, three, four, five down here, blitzes this guy off, picks up the ball. He can probably just knock this guy off the ball with somebody. Yeah, he could if he brings in another guy, picks up the ball, comes on round, hands it off to this guy, brings this guy round for protection. I mean, there's stuff he can do, especially if he knocks these two guys down, he can bring somebody right across. Yeah, I guess it's my own fault for relying on uh, Stag. But that's what we got him for. We got him for fun. He's just decided not to be as fun as we'd like. This was an interesting move. I mean, he has to reroll that. I don't understand this at all. Um, okay, how many guys has he got on the ball? He's got three guys on the ball, so I think we have to try and blitz them onto the ball here. Okay, so that didn't really help. He's been KO'd so many times. Uh, we kind of need a scoring threat, and I'm not sure I can get one. That is a big problem here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, what's our way through here? It's horrific. Could try two dice against here. And we're using the wrestle guy as well. Ugh. Would this help any? Not really, I don't think removing these guys helps. Well, it could do, actually. I will stay to make this a one dice. That's bad. Did we do the traditional? Okay, we didn't. Lose a player at the end of a game. What a weird, weird game. <laughs> so yeah, the, the thought was uh, we could at least, like, if we move this guy, we could dodge through here into a scoring position. And then on turn 16, try and pick up the ball and throw it. I don't think dodging through 15 tackle zones there was on 5 pluses was going to do a whole lot better for us. So, I mean, they can still score as well, obviously. Um, but it is a bit tricky. I don't. I, I, I really don't know what went wrong in this game, and I don't, don't know if it was my fault or not. I felt like we had the tools to crush them. I guess the ghouls not, like, actually really being forced out of the game was a big problem. Um, because I think we armor broke them a ton. Um, but they just KO'd and came back instantly, or just got stunned. Rabbit, I think, even hit them a few times without, or hair, I should say, hit them a few times without having any, any impact at all. Okay, so that's game over for everybody. Uh, I don't think we can push him three squares. We have to push him four squares. We'd have to push him four squares, yeah. A mystifying game that was kind of unsatisfactory in the end because I really felt like we were in a powerful position after the first half. Uh, maybe I needed to do more to stop him scoring. I don't know, maybe that was where we went wrong. But we set up that pretty decent barrier down here and he, you know, he just kind of like dodged around it instead. But I probably, I mean, I'll sh I assume I could have theoretically defended that better. Maybe I should have gone in with the dodge beastman and done the blitz with him first because of uh, removal potential. Then you've only got two goals to worry about. But... Anyway, we should just we should just rue the day and uh, take a game where I don't think anyone's leveled up. At least these guys decided not to die in the end. I was a bit worried for Badger and for uh, for Hare. Losing one movement isn't a firing for this guy, but it is obviously a problem, because you know, it's nice to have that movement to blitz and run back to safety. Skunk could still be in trouble here. These ghouls hit harder than they get hit. Okay, there we go. Uh, so let's see what we can do on the last turn. Obviously when we roll some skulls and both downs, it's over. Uh huh, there's not a lot we can do. I guess we can try and move this guy. Nope.
Yep, very resilient. Yeah, Stake has been a complete liability. <laughs> to be fair. He spent most of the first half laying down and uh, got us off to a terrible... Yeah, he was he was not useful. Would we have been better with the extra beastman and the less team value so they got less things? Yeah. Unfortunately, Vol stole the MVP there. We do not really want him leveling up, so that's not great. They also got a bad MVP. Yeah, they did better because of the injuries, but honestly, it was... It was horrible all around. I don't think it's a dice thing, like the dice are going to look pretty reasonable for everybody. Uh, I guess he rolled a lot of ones, but I mean, I'm seeing a lot of 100%s there as well, and high dodges were good. Even his GFIs came back into, they. I mean, they were not, really not bad, so. Yeah, he actually did alright. How did we do with our stuff? Do do do, dodges, excellent. GFI is on course. Pickups reasonable. Fireball, yeah, the fireball wasn't a big problem in the end. Catches not so great, but that was in tackle zones a lot. Yeah, wild animals were were not great. I mean, that's that's pretty bad. And then the one time he decided to do something glorious, he uh, he knocked himself over. That's where juggernaut would be useful, actually. I didn't, we never seem to pass Lunar Rules. <laughs> uh, we succeeded on Chainsaw twice. I don't even know what that means. So our team remains unaffected. Um, a draw is... Uh, I mean, we didn't have many draws, right? We now have two. So it doesn't make our record look much worse. Uh, I could spend that on something, but I don't know what. All right, so we're about, yeah, we're st stuck on our 1800 team value. All right, I'm off. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, apologies if that was boring. Hopefully it wasn't boring. I mean, it was it was tense. Something could have happened at the end. At the end, it just felt like for the last three or four turns, like, like nobody was going to score, which is really odd. Usually somebody feels like they're going to, but we both kind of stored horribly. Catch you next time. Bye for now.